Well, good afternoon. I'm Martin Tyner with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and we've got a fun chore to do today. We're going to uh, release a golden eagle back to the wild, but first I've got a, one more meal to our Swainson's hawks. That's easy enough. They're violent little monsters and they're ready to go back to the wild as well. But we <laughs> make yep. sure we ha they have plenty of food so that they don't fight with each other. Okay. And here's the fun part. We've got a beautiful young golden eagle that's flying well, that's recovered from its heat stroke and uh, starvation, dehydration, it's doing very, very well. Come in and make sure I uh, close this properly. Yep, just push on it, make sure it doesn't. There you go, it's fine. Okay, pretty baby, you are beautiful. Yes, you are. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, I, lots of practice. I thought it was going to come right at me and it just vanished. Yep. Hey, sweetie. You're such a pretty little thing. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. You got a tummy full of food? It's really a crop. It's not a tummy, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and... Go on out. Isn't he beautiful? Nice juvenile golden eagle right here. It's got a bunch of food. And it's been, uh, I put a, a jackrabbit in there that we had, uh, that Bell caught last year. And so we had been able to eat a big meal on jackrabbit. And so, oh, you gonna bite me, sweetie? That's okay, you can bite me. I don't care. Nice big bird. Yeah, he's quite beautiful. Well, let's go ahead and get him going. Okay. Well, here we are. This is a hood. The purpose for the hood is to help with the stress while we're transporting him. So we put this on to blindfold him so he doesn't see all the movement, doesn't get it any more nervous than he already is. couple of gloves. We're ready to rock and roll, so let's go get in the car. Okay. Anyway, we have our transport box for our eagle. Hopefully he'll sit nice and quiet. So we uh, head out to our release point. Well, let's go gas up the car and, and get out to the release site. He is, he's now home here in Enoch, Utah, which we're very excited to be here. And um, I have been caring for sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife for over 50 years as a volunteer. baby. You, I knew you were going to make it hard for me. You're the most dangerous part of this whole operation is getting him out of that box. And so it's going to take me just a minute here to get control of him. Hi, sweetie. You need to come back to me. That's a good thing. See if I can... He was ready to go before he was ready to go. <laughs> I will... I'm ready to leave. Okay, guys, never cross. 
crawl in a box head first with a wild eagle. <laughs> you know, I do this all the time. But this, that is very, very, very dangerous. Okay. Why is it dangerous? Let's talk about this little guy, why we've got him before we put him, put him back up. Now, this particular golden eagle is one of our natives. Um, within 10 miles of right here, I've got 10 nesting pairs of golden eagles. And so the golden eagles are year-round resident. We have more golden eagles here than we have bald eagles. Though we do get a, a large number of bald eagles that come here in the winter time. We have one nesting pairs of bald eagles right, right here in the Cedar City area. But as far as the, the number of goldens, there's quite a few. Now, the golden eagle gets his name from the golden feathers on the back of the head. Otherwise, he's dark brown. So the bald eagle gets his name because of a white head. A golden eagle gets his name because of the golden feathers on the back of the head. I just watch it as it's flying, flying along, going from east to west, <coughs> out across the fields, and, and this raven would get above the eagle and he would dive down, and the eagle would roll upside down, put its feet up, and the raven would pull back up, the eagle would roll, roll back up straight, and the raven would dive again, oh, and then no. pull back up, and dive again, and pull back up, and this poor eagle was just, just being harassed horribly. higher than it went before, dove a little bit faster than it went before, the eagle rolled over, reached out, grabbed the raven, rolled back over, flew away and ate him. <laughs> because of the drought, the, we, the birds of prey are doing very badly. Because of the heat, and eagles don't take heat very well, this is why we wait till the end of August yeah, to release wow. them back to the because they can't take the heat. Because of disease, we had a really bad case came through, started last October, of rabbit hemorrhagic disease that just slaughtered our jackrabbits. And that's a major source for these guys. And so for a brand new eagle, the environment is really, really tough. And so he was dehydrated, starving to death, heat stroke. Uh, some very kind people here in Enoch called police dispatch. Dispatch notified the local game warden. Game warden picked it up and brought it out to me. And to be honest with you, um, it, I didn't think it was going to survive. Now, Dad, are you going to do the release? I was going to actually have these guys do it right here. No, Dad's going to do it. That answers the question quicker. Come on up here, Tiny. Now, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to release the See the, the big rock on the hillside right there? What I'm going to have you do when we get up there, I'll hand you, to hand you the eagle, I'm going to ask you, I want you to put your arms straight out in front of you, both arms. And so you have both arms straight, straight out, kind of with your hands up. Yeah, this way. Or, yeah, there you go. And I'm going to take the eagle and I'm going to push you up against your chest. So the back of the eagle will be against your chest. You wrap your arms around the eagle and then I want you to get each foot. And this is what, this is dangerous. Okay. So this is what I want you to hang on to is these feet. You don't have to break the legs, but you do need to hold them firmly. Squeeze them firmly. Just nice and firm. 
and, and then as you're holding the eagle, when, when we're ready, I will take the hood off. Do not throw the eagle with the hood off. That's bad. <laughs> I will take this off. And when I take this off, then you take your time and, and enjoy this experience because you will be the last person on the planet to ever touch this animal. And, and then, then all you will do is just kind of step forward and push him away from you and he will go into the sky. Now, I, what I want all of you to understand, guys, is he doesn't understand what's going on. He doesn't understand where he's at. This is very scary for him. And he might just fly a short distance and land. Please do not go up to the eagle. Don't go up the hill. Stay away from him. Sometimes they just need to sit around for a little while trying to figure out what's just happened. Does that make sense, guys? And so we don't approach him. And we just kind of leave him there, and we just come back down here, and and uh, until he decides that he's comfortable enough to fly away. Other times we throw him in the sky, and he goes, just goes black. <laughs> and so we really have no idea. And what you're going to want to do is try to throw him into the wind. So, so come, come on up with me, and uh, we'll go get this done. Remember something that you would like, people you'd like to pay for? 